Brennan here from the Seismo Guys. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the Geophone. Normally, my partner in crime, Angel, would be here with me, but Angel is currently in Bolivia celebrating the 100th anniversary of Observatorio San Calixto. That observatory was founded just a few years after the Geophone was invented. I just finished cutting the Geophone open on the lathe, so let's take a look inside. Remember, one of the properties of a geophone is that it's magnetic. And what produces the magnetism is the inertial mass on the inside. Here's a closer look. And just to demonstrate that, there we go. The inertial mass is indeed the magnetic part. So we'll set him here. Now surrounding the inertial mass is this copper coil and you'll notice there's two of them and two of them have been placed to reduce distortion the distortion that was common to earlier geophones and that coil is just made up of fine copper wires like this now all of that is held in place by a spring at the top and bottom of the geophone and so I've left this one in intact but I've broken the spring here. And if you take a closer look, you can see that this is the spring and it connects to the copper spool in one, two, three places. Now if we look on the inside, you'll notice that again there's three places where the spring is able to connect to the top and bottom of the geophone. And here's a closer look. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining the Seismo guys. And don't forget to visit us at www.osop.com.pa.